Shaber 1000 here. Today on Shaber Shop Shenanigans, we're going to take these two air compressors. They both run, they both pump air. One of them's got a bad tank. This green one has a bad tank. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two and build one. So, what I want to do is take this head unit, the motor, and the pump off of this one and put onto the gray one. I know I'm going to have to drill holes. Uh, may have to tap some holes. It would probably be easier if I just cut this off and welded it on there, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drill it out and uh, we'll have to put some nuts or something. We'll find something um, and we'll go from there. So stay tuned and let's get started on these things. Okay guys, what I was going to do was just take everything off of here and put onto that one. Now this motor runs, but it's got a lot of in play. And a guy's needing one, and he's got a big canvas tent he wants to do some dealing with me. So I want to build him one, so I'll take the wheels off. They'll go on there. I've got a handle for this. Um, it's not the exact handle, the right handle for it. I don't think I ever had a handle on this one, but the handle that came off of here, I can put on here. And uh, but it's going to need, you know, it's going to need a new cord on it, which it's not going to plug directly in. What it's going to do is it'll be wired in to this. This is going to need a new cord. Okay, so the first thing I I, I need to do is get this off of here. And get that all blown off and scraped off and whatnot. Maybe shoot some paint on it and uh, make it look a little better. Uh, this thing, I don't know if I'm going to paint it or not. I might spray some paint on it, but first we got to get the stuff off of it. So um, we're going to go ahead and pull that motor off, and we're going to pull this stuff off. I'll film you the best I can. I may have to have that fan running because it's just super, super hot out here, guys. So I'm going to get you set up here to where you can see a little better. See what I'm doing. I'll move you around a little bit. And uh, but first, let's start and let's get the stuff off this because this has to come. This stuff has to come off anyhow. So let's go ahead and get these things off of it, and then we'll go ahead and get the motor off that. I doubt if I'm going to paint that tank. I might spray some paint on it but it's I'm not going to sand it or anything like that that's not what he's looking for he just needs an air compressor because he does not have one so let me get you on the tripod and get you down here and let me grab some tools so we can start stripping this down okay guys hope you can hear me over the fan I'm sorry it's just very hot um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by taking this off this all seems to be half inch that wasn't very tight. I don't think I had it off. Alright, so there's that. Drop something. Okay, anyway, there's the old one. Uh, let's see. Right, let's go ahead and take this off. I don't know if they got weld nuts or if they're just tapped. I'm probably just going to drill, drill out what I need to drill out over there and tap it. Okay, there's over there. And there's our pump. This thing's always been super quiet. Always. Okay. We got this off. This is gonna go outside. I will throw some paint on there. Like I said, I'm not gonna sandblast it or anything. Just it's not what the guys are looking for. I'd like to keep this motor on here. 
there was a difference, I thought, in these pulleys. It's the same horsepower, the same RPM, except for, I think the pulley's a little different on this one. Uh, let's measure it. I thought this was a bigger pulley. That's four and a half inch pulley, and that's four inch pulley. Because that had a bigger, uh, what do you call it, had a bigger uh, pulley on the back, flywheel, whatever you want to call it. So, it looks to me like the shaft is bigger on this one, so I can't switch the pulley. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch the motor too. Um, I believe it's half inch as well, but I can't get my power tool in there. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to do it like this. And there's four bolts to hold this on. might not even paint that other tank. Like I said, we're not, you know. He just wants a working air compressor. He has none. Like I said, I can't get my socket down in there. Yeah, okay. Let's see if it'll work on this side. Oh, yeah. Won't be able to tighten them up that way. But... Okay, so there's this. Alright. This is where the handle bolts it on. I'd be using those four bolts over here. Let's move this. That's it. He's all over here now. Okay, I'm going to have to use a wrench on this one. They're coming out, but it's kind of stripping a little bit, so I don't want to do that. So, I'm just going to do the same thing on here. This one I've got to unhook the power wire. So, get this out of the way. I'll get you turned around here. Much heavier tank. And this is where the wire goes on. Right down there, I'll tell you what. I'll go ahead and take that wire off. There ain't not much to that. Ah, that figures. Alright, well. There we go. That's how that hooks on there. There's little little nuts in there. Five sixteenths. Okay, so I think what I'll do, I'll hook that back up. I'll probably hook that ground wire back up. 
as you can see, this is old. <laughs> These didn't actually have ground wires on them when they come out of the factory, believe it or not. So, alright. I'm going to put this back on here. Just so we don't lose anything. So I didn't even have to take them clear out. Alright, go ahead and tighten this back up, like I said, so I don't lose them. Now, I'm going to pull the motor off of this one, and then we'll get a game plan, get an idea, and get some holes marked. Okay, what I'm doing now is trying to figure out about where this is going to go, okay, so... Which, as you can see, I'm going to have to cut it down. So that means I'm going to have to cut this one down. It's no problem. i got flaring tools. So, let's take this off here. There we go. Been on there a while. And we're going to take this off. Because this is going to be stationary. That's going to be adjustable. This has to stay because of this line. Okay? So, go ahead and take this off. Because i, I got to change that fitting anyway. It's not going to be that fitting. It's going to be this one here. Okay. This is going to get screwed into here. say it's gonna be something like that. Now this might give me an issue. I may have to straighten it out and then bend it back up. You know, oh, I can cut it down. I can make it fit like that. Do my own bends on it. So that's not an issue. But this is definitely going to have to be cut down. So it looks to me about right here is where I'm going to want the pump. So what I need to do is measure that. It's looking to be about one inch. I'm measuring the pulley. Usually you can eyeball these things. It's not that big of a deal, but I like to try to get them as close as I can. There's one inch exactly. Now this one's out a little bit. One inch. And one inch. Okay, so that's good. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to leave this, I'm going to hold this down on here real tight. And I'm going to mark them right there. So, and how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to use my little punch. I'm going to get it out. And like I said, this one, we're going to blow all this off and throw some paint on it. But that looks to be about where I need to be. Looks like I'm going to have to cut, I guess, in an inch, inch and a half. I'll take an inch off, inch and a half off of this. Uh, well, actually, what I got to do since I got a flare, I got to take an inch and a quarter for my flare, because then I'll be a quarter. If not, I'll be a quarter inch too short. So I'm gonna take an inch and a quarter off of it, and then I'll flare, and then we should be good to go there. So remember that inch and a quarter, guys. Okay. Take this off. This is the end we're going to be taking off here. Looks like it's goofed up anyway, doesn't it? Huh, maybe not. i make sure that's... I want to see if that's a single or double flare. Oh, 
Okay. I don't know if I've got one of these. You know what? This is not flared at all. See that? That's a compression fitting. I gotta see if I got one of these. If not, this end is flared. So what I'll have to do is take it off of this end. I'll have to straighten it. Straighten it out and then cut off what I need and then bend it over to where I need it. So You know what I mean? So, I might get by with putting a couple bends in it, bend it over here and then back up. Which, that won't hurt a thing. I don't like doing it that way, but anyway. Let me get my holes marked. Now to mark these holes, let me just double check, make sure I didn't bump that. was bumped. Just a smidge. One inch. Okay. I'm just going to use this. This is an automatic center punch. It's spring loaded. You just push down and it makes a pop and it'll leave a little indentation in it. Hopefully oh, there's a little bend here. No biggie. I'm going to put it right in the center. That's all it takes. Also, what I might do. No, I'm good. Never mind. Yeah, just make sure you get it in the center. And that leaves a little. Uh, there's one there. They're hard to see after you do that, but you can feel them. That one should be. One there, so the other one should be right there. It is. So if you want, you can go back over once you find them and uh, remake your holes where you're going to draw them at. Just yeah, see, there's what I was talking about spring loaded. Like that. Just a spring loaded deal. It worked great. Worked super. Okay, so now I'm going to wipe this all off again. We'll do the motor after we get this all mounted up and get our lines taken care of. Okay, so now that those are marked. Sure, I can see. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're good. Now that those are marked, I can drill them. I'm going to take this out, blow it off, spray paint it. I'm not going to bore you with that. Uh, I'll probably change the oil. Or did I change the oil on this? I think I did change the oil on this. Yeah, I did. So, I'm going to take this out, scrape it off, blow it off, spray paint it. It can be drying while we're doing the other stuff. So, I'm not going to bore you with that. I decided I'm not going to paint that pump. It's aluminum. It's going to match just fine. But let's go ahead. I'm going to make a pilot hole. What I'm going to do, I'm going to drill one and I'm going to get it to the size I need it. I'm going to tap it out. I'm going to put a bolt in and hopefully I can drill down through the other three so I know, or at least make my mark so I know I'm going to be perfectly good. There's that one. So I'm going to kind of step it, you know. Get this chuck. It's missing that little screw down in, down in there. I've got another one that's just like this. That has a that has a screw, and I'm going to take out and put in here. So. And this 
chuck is not the greatest. My Dewalt battery is going bad in it. So let's go ahead and tap this out. Just make sure you get it started straight and you should be okay. Once it starts cutting good, then you want to go back and forth with it to clear out your uh, your your tap. It's kind of a pain to get started, but once you get it started, just kind of go like this, go a couple turns, clear your tap out. All right, now. If that bolt will fit, which it should, there we go. All right. So now I can still see my marks, but just in case, let's check something here. Yeah. Because sometimes you never know, right? I have done it before, marked them, drilled them all, and had one knot line up. When that happens, you got to move the whole thing. You know, so I don't want to take that chance, to tell you the truth. Okay, there's that. Give yeah, a sec up. I got one hole over here. This hole would have been off. Would have been off center by, you know, just an eighth of a hole. Just enough to where you you won't be able you wouldn't be able to start your bolt so let's go ahead and tighten this up and then we'll take a measurement and make sure make sure we're still on the money here about one inch needs to come over just a smidgen a little bit more you can also eyeball it but I'm measuring it's one inch one inch all right so now what we're going to do instead of drilling a pilot hole I think I'm just going to try to drill straight down through here I think the bit's sharp enough. I make sure I'm in the center. There we go. Okay, looks pretty good. Now, let's go ahead and drill the other ones. Make sure I'm in the center. Good. All right, now let's go ahead. And... That looks a little off. That one looks good. Okay, let's go ahead and take this off. Now I'm just going to tap these other three, just like you see me do on that first one, so that way it's not so boring. I'll back you out a little bit. I do have lock washers and stuff over here. So. And then we can get the motor on here. Yeah, see, I'm not even going to paint this. I'm just going to leave it like that. It looks fine. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and tap these out. The rest of them, just like I did that first one. And then we'll mount the pump back on it. And then we'll work on this, on this line over here. So hang tight. Alright guys, I'm back. I got this mounted. I got the motor mounted. Uh, I, I didn't bore you with the motor because it's the same as this. I just sat it on there, put it where I wanted it, marked my holes. Um, still may need to adjust the belt. 
looks like it's a little off but let's check it and see if it's going to work before we go any farther don't try this at home cord I need for this thing so I do have one of them that's going to go down here right into here then the other one of course goes over into the motor but right now I need to get this fixed up I got a new copper line on here the only problem I got is I took this part down here there's a one-way valve in here and yeah, I lost a piece of that one wave out. Looks like a little washer, just a flat piece. I can probably make one. So I may have to get one of these. What that does is it puts air in the tank and don't let it come try to come back out through here. So, you know, you kind of need that. This, so we're gonna work on this next. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and flare this. And then I'm gonna try to bend this over. Let's see, first it's got to come this way. Kind of hard to, hard to bend these without kinking them. I don't have a tubing bender, believe it or not. Looks like I'm going to kink it. You see, it's got a... Well, I could probably go like this. But it's wanting to kink and... right there um, I don't know let me mess around with this see if I can get this bent over here and then I'll have to flare this this one so let me yeah let me see what I can do try to bend that without kinking it some way hang on okay guys I got you in here as tight as I can get you without uh, making everything awkward we're just gonna flare this one I gotta flare the other one but you get the idea of what's going on here. Let's see. Quarter inch it looks like. You just want to get this right up there even straight across there. And tighten these down. Another hot one today. Now, we're going to take our flaring tool. We're going to put this in here. We're going to make us a nice little flare. Okay. I checked, and these are not double flared, so like a brake line. But, of course, if it was a brake line, you wouldn't be using copper either, so... You can also do these up. I've done them up on the bench, like put this end here in the vise. Looks pretty good. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna get this and put it over here. Okay, it looks like gonna need to finagle this just a little bit too okay so now I'm gonna have to bend this just a little bit more more 
just uh, you know, adjusting and adjusting. Not Justin, but and make sure it's going to go on there, right? Looks like I may have to bring it down just a little bit more. Like I said, I may have to get that go get that check valve, but we can still fire it up and let it get some air pressure going. Let me back you out now a little bit. So we can still get some air pressure going with it. Uh, I'm going to put the wheels on the wheels off the other one onto here. Come on. I sweat my eyes. Burns. I don't think that's started right. You gotta be real careful with this. This this brass stuff. So, get it bent the right way. Okay, so I'm going to fiddle with this, and uh, it's close. I don't want to bore you too much. People's always like, "Ah, oh, you shut too much. You talk too much. Just shut up." And I'm like, "You know what? Once you shut up, you're the one talking now. You know about how much I talk." I'm like, "Geez, if I don't talk enough, I get yelled at. If I talk, I get yelled at. Nobody's happy." Let's make sure that's yeah. That's okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and mess with this and I'll turn you guys back on when I get this one. I'm, I'm going to do the other one the same way. I got it bent pretty close. I still have to cut it off, but the big one, the, the upper one here that goes straight into the tank. This is what comes over and this is your switch that shuts it off here. Got it. Now we gotta see if we can get this in started now. This one shouldn't be too bad, but all right, so now I'm going to mess with this one and get it on here and uh, I'm going to go ahead and flare the big end and get it put on then I'm going to come back to you guys I may have to cut this off a little bit more we'll just have to see let me deal with this and get this other line on then we're going to kick it on and see how it runs okay alright guys hang tight well I'll show you how to put the how to wire this up too so hang on okay so I took got to hit record I took this this one off because this thing is huge it's overkill so I'm gonna put the right size on it see the difference this was just overkill so I'm gonna put this up in here all right and I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off now too because it's junk right. 
So, let's go ahead. We're going to run this up in here. Stick this in here, just like this. I'm going to tighten her down. Shove that down there out of the way. I need to do something different with this wire. Here. Sorry I'm in your way. Sorry about the fan noise again, but you know. I'm not kidding you. When I tell you it's 120 in this garage, trust me, it's 120 in this garage. So, now this wasn't designed to have a ground. I'm going to put a ground on it. Not quite exactly sure where yet, but yeah, that's better. Now, this one around here. There we go. Okay, see this is the one that's going to go over to the other side, it's going to run through here, and it's going to run over to the motor, which we're going to hook up in a minute, I'm going to have to do that a little different too, um, but the, this one here, which goes in, it'll go in through this hole, it's going to get hooked up. You know, same way. The black one's going to be there, the white one's going to be there, and the green one's going to get hooked up to the green one. And I'll probably just put a little self-tapper in there or something. Or drill a hole and put a little bolt. Just so, just so it grounds. In fact, I think this may go clear down to a ground. It might. So I may hook it up there. But, which it should ground. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this up. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do on the motor side. Okay, guys, this is what I had to do on this one. I had to put these uh, these terminals, like a spade terminal type thing, on here. It's a lot safer, a lot easier to work on. Put this up in here. Put this down through or up through here. Like this. Tighten it down. I did find the ground on the other side. There was a couple of screws holding that holding that switch in there. So I just uh, I just uh, wired into them. I don't like that green wire as close as it is to that black wire. I don't like it up there either, but that's where it's going to have to be. Like I said, this is not supposed to have a ground, but I like having grounds on my things. This just ain't going to be my thing, but... Well, that thing just sl slides, just slid right out of there. When I took it off. Not 
Uh-uh. this guys there we go Jesus, I don't like that. I wonder if the other ones. A little different. Alright, I'm going to try to put the other one on, but I'm going to go ahead and put this cover back on. Okay, guys. Now we're on to this. This is our gauge, our pop-off valve, and uh, for where we we're going to put our air in. So this is going to go let's see, like this. This is also a regulator. So what I've got to do first is I'm going to put some tape around here, some of that white tape, and uh, wherever I put it. I thought I had it down here, but anyway, I got it up there. Uh, and we're going to screw this on, and that's going to be like, oh, something like that. So that way you can adjust it. There's a the pop-off valve. Might put it like that. We'll just see. Uh, but let me get the tape. I gotta change the battery in you anyway because it's getting low. So okay, guys, I got my tape. Let's see, that's put it on this way. You guys ever you ever need to do something like this in a pinch and you don't have any of this stuff piece of grocery bag I know some people say ah oh, you can't do it yeah you can I've done it and yes it works Go one more time, guys. But I'll try it. I don't know if I can get on. Oh yeah, it'll go no problem. All right. Now I'm gonna put the gauge in. I gotta put the tape on it too. Yeah, plastic grocery bags. It does work. I've used it on water lines before, just temporary. I had a water leak by one o'clock in the morning. Ah. I'll go get some tomorrow, you know? Before I know it. Hell, I've been on there for years, you know? Now, the gauge on the other side, I don't know if you've seen it or not, will tell me how much air is in the tank. This tells me how much air I'm going to be running through it, you know? Like... Like I can turn this up or down. Seems a little tight. I better back it off some. Because I did have it cranked up. He's only wanting about 100 pounds. Like, if you want to, like a paint gun, 
if you're going to run a paint gun, you're not going to run it at 100 pounds. Where if you're running a, a uh, you guys can't see shit. Sorry. If you're running an impact gun, you're going to want it turned up to the max, you know? So. Alright. Okay, now we need to put our nipple on the other side. And it is right here, so I've got to take it out of here and put in the other side. So I'm going to do that. I'm not going to bore you with the same thing as putting these on, so hang tight. We're getting ready to fire, the, fire this thing up. Okay, guys, I had to put my my old hose, I had to put it directly on there because I don't, I didn't have the right uh, quick connect for this. I got all the other sizes, but so anyway, let's plug it in. Let's see what happens. Where's the cool? Put that thing out of here. Right. Here we go. I told you that thing was quiet. God damn it. Still ain't got that room to work in here. It's uh, pretty much done. Uh, all I gotta do is put the wheels on it and the handle. I'll do that later. Probably tomorrow or Monday. But yeah, that thing's super quiet. That's what he's looking for. I'm not gonna put that junky ass guard back on. I'll give him the mount. That mount. And I'll give him the guard. If he wants to put it on, that's up to him. I wouldn't. I would come up with something different, so. Well, it looks like I need to bring this pulley. has to come in about uh, an eighth of an inch. See it? If you look down through there. Yeah, I just got to bring that pulley in just a little bit. Those, you know, I can come in clear into there if I had to, but I don't have to, so. All right, guys. A little bit of tweaking. I think that's what he's he's going to be looking for so all right so i hope everyone's having a great weekend uh we sold some stuff today made about 40 bucks her mom made about 35 34 so uh people were buying but uh just stay safe guys and uh we'll do the same on our end i'm going to tinker around with this just a little bit more i'm going to adjust that pulley it might might be the motor. I might just have to loosen the motor up a little bit and, and kind of turn it. Um, and she's ready to rock. I got to get that uh, one-way check valve, and we'll be good to go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. It's hot out here. Bye, bye, guys, and take care.